Hey Sagittarius, Everlong Mystic here. Today I am going to do a silent ball game reading for you. And it is loosely based on the kind of like internal thing we do where it's, you know, kind of like a three strikes and you're out. And we're just going to take a look at the, um, the strikes, like what they're about and what the final straw is. And then what the silent solution is. All right. And then there will be a chance for a bonus reading, Sagittarius. If at any time a golden egg or the sun card comes out in this reading, then I will record a whole new bonus reading for you. All right, I'm gonna push these up a little bit here. All right, so what are these strikes about, Sagittarius? Oh. Oh, okay. So we have Ancient Oak Spirit here, and it's it's a card of strength. But what I'm really seeing here is a closed, it's a closed door. Somebody, I don't know, is, is something, are you being shut out of something, Sag? What is this? I guess it's the Ace of Swords. There's no numbers on it. So we have... Releasing and letting it go. There's something about releasing and letting it go here. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> you have the sun! Sagittarius, you get a bonus reading. Sweet. Okay. So, all right. So, I don't, with this Ace of Swords here, I'm, all, all I can get is release and let it go. Release and let it go. And I don't know why that's the only thing that it's telling me, but... If, if that's the case, then this, this door right here, Sagittarius, is a door that is not meant to be opened. It's a door that wasn't for you, and... But it's, it's like it's something that you... It feels like something that you wanted. I mean, we have the sun... We have the sun card here, and it's like... And like this lion, if you look at the look at the lion's face, it's like he has kind of like this longing for something. It's like you're you're you really want this door to be open. And gosh, I'm feeling like these strikes or these this whatever this pattern is has to do with you and spirit. It's like spirit's trying to get you to release and let something go. And it could very well be the idea of this of this door, whatever whatever this door is. It's like some it's like the door's closed. It's not it's not for you. I mean it looks it looks magical and wonderful and warm and inviting, but it's just not your door. You know what I mean? It's just not your door, Sagittarius. And and like the whole repetition of like this the strikes, right? That's that's you. You keep trying for this door. <laughs> you keep trying for this door because it's like you think that there's a boatload of happiness behind that door, right? It's like there's, I mean, even if you look at this statue here, there's like red scribbles all over it. It's like, no, no. It's like someone, you know, like taking your pen and going, no, 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 not for you. That door's not for you. So, okay, so we, we've got some repeated attempts here at, at a door that's not yours. 
And um, so what's the last straw? What? So this last straw here is going to be kind of like what makes you realize that this door wasn't for you. Because you do realize, you, you do figure it out. So we have the Spirit Guardian of Spring, and this is activation. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is definitely some kind of vibrational thing that happens with you. I don't know if it is like just you raising your vibration, but, and I'm saying this because that I always get that from these birds. You've got the birds on here. Here, get a closer look. See the birds? They're, they're holding the ribbons, right? But they're all like kind of like fuzzy, like they're vibrating so fast you can't even see them hardly. So there's some kind of... There's some kind of like vibrational thing that happens with you, Sagittarius, that is kind of like the trigger point where you realize, oh yeah, that that's not my door. Yeah, we have the magician. And look, there's even the sun symbol on the magician. I don't know that the magician is associated with the sun. Uh, I don't have all the placements memorized for which cards go with which planets and stuff, but you have the Magician here, and what's really interesting about this Magician card in the Dolly deck is that he's not, um, <clears throat> he's not touching any of the tools. <laughs> he's not touching any of the tools, and, um, it's, it, it's kind of cool because it's like you, it's kind of like a, a little message for you that, you know, you don't, you don't have to have a bunch of fancy tools. You don't have to have a bunch of embellishments, Sagittarius, to, you know, to find your doors, to, you know, to have a relationship with spirit, to, you know, do whatever. The, it, because it's really just you. You, you are, you know, you are your own magician, Sagittarius. And it's, I feel like this is some kind of re realization that you, that you come across. And it may not have been... It may not have been like a pleasant thing because you see all the there's all these flames behind this magician like it's like you had to you you had to come to some kind of realization with yourself and it was like <clears throat> kind of like you having a little bit of friction with your with yourself but it but it was like whatever this vibrational activation type thing was that's what triggered these these flames around you and you were like I mean look at his face. It's like, he's like, what? I mean, look at his face. He looks surprised. I'm like, oh, I don't need the tools. It's me. I can, you know what I mean? Ah, cool. And then we have this Queen of Swords here. And that's, you know, the Queen of Swords. That's, <clears throat> that's like the ultimate discernment, right? It's, it's the, it's like that calm, cool, collected, I can... I can like, I can, I can see the truth. I can know the truth and I can be fair about it. And I, I'm intuitive and you know what I mean? It's like this, it's, it's, you know, kind of like a leveling up. It seems like there's been a lot of leveling up lately for a lot of the signs, which is like collectively, which is really, it's, which is a really good sign. Right. But one, one cool thing about this, Queen of Swords here is that she she's able to detect like the, to me this is like false this this snake figure here this red snake figure it's like she's she's got it she's like I see you you might fool others but you don't fool me I see you and I and I got gotcha. you and you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna get me to believe in false doors anymore because I've I've grown you know and of course, you've got the butterfly at the bottom, so, you know, it leads to some sort of transformation for you. Alright, so let's see what, Sagittarius, what is the silent solution? So what do you actually, what do you actually do about it? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you do the transformation. You have the butterfly spirit transformation card, which is... Literally what I just said about this butterfly here. Sweet. Well, that worked out. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Thank you, Sagittarius. 
All right, so you you go forward with your transformation. It's like you you get this activation, you get this vibrational change within you, and you you find your inner magician, and you're like, yeah, yeah, baby, let's go. Cool, and then you have King of Cups. So, the, and this is such a beautiful combination here. Look, you've got Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. I I freaking love it. Because the Queen of Swords, she's so level-headed, and she can be a little severe when she needs to, especially when, you know, when when she's kind of attacking fal falsities, right? But this King of Cups, you know, King of Cups, he's so, he's also that calm, cool, collected guy. It's like he has the, he has free range of like the whole gamut of emotions, right? The whole range of emotions. It's like... It's like you're getting this ability, I mean, like, look, and it's like, they're both, like, touching this magician here. It's like, you're getting this whole, this new outlook and this new, like, new abilities to, to discern not only with your, your mind, but your heart as well. Ah, three of cups, and you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. So, Sagittarius, your silent solution to your 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 false gate or your false door here, your silent solution is is transforming yourself, and that's that's really beautiful. I love that. All right, Sagittarius, this is your silent ball game message, and because you did get the sun card, you're getting a bonus reading, and I will I will get my fairy deck. The Brian's, uh, was it Brian Proud fairy deck? And I will get the John Bauer tarot and we're due. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the face say for you. And, um, just look at the description box. The very bottom of the description box, I'll put an unlisted link here so you can, you can get your bonus video. All right, Sag. Later.